Hello there. Now today we are taking a look at the Lego Star Wars display as I have a bunch of minifigures from the last 15 plus years and that means not all of them are as accurate as Lego could make them today. So many new hair pieces coming out every couple of months let alone over the span of 15 years and there are some minifigures that we'll be taking a look at today that are from a more recent era of Star Wars but we're just going to be taking at least 10 minifigures, improving their hairs. There'll be a few mentions of other minifigures throughout. Of course, I don't have all the Lego hair pieces that are available, so there'll be a few recolors towards the end. But for the most part, I'm just going to be taking hair pieces of other Lego figures and adding them to a minifigure to improve the way it looks, get it to look not just a better figure, but more like the character it's meant to represent. Anyway, this video is going to be long enough, so let's get straight to looking at the minifigures. And the first minifigure we'll be improving today is Commander Cody. He's the only clone that's made this list. Otherwise, I could just use the same improvement for most of the clones. And we are going to be taking Falcon's hairpiece or Captain America's hairpiece. It's Sam Wilson when he is Captain America. So we'll pop the hairpiece off Captain America and add it on to Cody. Now, Cody besides having the hairpiece around the wrong way, does have a regular clone head rather than the custom one that comes in the ATTE. I felt his head was better suited for a Boba Fett minifigure, and as he is a clone, I do like all my clones having the same head, which is ironic because now one of my clones doesn't because Cody has one, but it's probably been taken off one of the jetpack troopers, which I have an abundance for and don't really use. So... That is our first hair improvement. I think it just looks so much better and more accurate to Commander Cody's appearance in Revenge of the Sith. Now the next hair piece we will be improving is an old one. It is the old Ben hair. Now Kenobi has had this hair piece for as long as I remember. It's probably the original one. I know they've updated the mould a little bit but it's been in the same style for as long as we've been getting these minifigures. And... We saw the same with, I think it was Return of the Jedi Luke has recently been improved. Han got his improvement a few years back and Kenobi just hasn't really had anything. I will get to the Padawan Kenobi minifigure which has got the same treatment but for how popular of a figure Kenobi is, it is really surprising that he's still got this piece when this old grey haired Han Solo hair piece, the old as in an old minifigure not Han Solo is old although he isn't that young in the movie but this piece is perfect for a Kenobi if we de-hair Han or take the wig off as if you didn't know Lego don't call these hair pieces they actually officially call them wigs and they all have their own number the only piece that is called a hair piece is one of the jockey hats from the friends line which does have hair sticking out of it and that is the only Lego piece that is dedicated the official term hair. But we'll remove this old Kenobi hair piece, put on the new one. And as you can see, it does look more like Alec Guinness. I don't really know why they haven't used this. I mean, I'd love to see a custom hair piece for Kenobi, but I don't think we'll get one anytime soon. But I think it just makes Kenobi look that much better and more accurate to a new hope. So... That will be our second minifigure out of the way already and we are storming for this. Now, sticking with Kenobi, we have the hairpiece for Kenobi from Attack of the Clones. I've used it for a custom Mandalore figure, but that is not what this is for. Because this hairpiece is actually better suited on Bo-Katan than the hairpiece she's got. If you recognise her appearance from the Clone Wars, you'll know that this hairpiece isn't really accurate at all. She's got it cut to try and match the headband which you can see what lego were trying to do here but it really doesn't work and it in fact covers half of the headband whereas if you use kenobi's hairpiece yeah you're covering more of the corners but you're actually seeing more of the front and it looks more accurate to how boat katan appears just be sure to get another attack of the clones hairpiece for kenobi because this looks cursed but i really like how boat katan turns out with kenobi's hair Kenobi's hair can of course also be improved but because he has the similar hairpiece to Anakin in Revenge of the Sith we'll be improving that minifigure instead later on in this video. Now we did get a new Chancellor Palpatine with the gunship which hopefully I am looking to pick up around either May or if not later on this year but 
even the new hairpiece can be improved because it comes in this light tan color when we have so many other minifigures with the same hairpiece in white. I've taken this from a Ninjago minifigure and I did use the head for Cyclops in my custom X-Men 97 character custom video but if you take any of these hair pieces from any other characters they might not look too great on this Palpatine from the Clone Wars but you've got to take my word that they make the new Palpatine look so so much better and much more accurate to how he appears somewhat in the show there's definitely an argument for the light tan color from the Clone Wars show but especially in Revenge of the Sith he's definitely sporting some white hair now the next hair piece isn't just the hair piece but if you don't own a Mandalorian with the head which first off if you really wanted it he's available in so many of the sets even the micro n1 you could definitely pick one up for fairly cheap but personally I'm not too fussed on it when I've got a character such as Cassian Andor from Rogue One who's not only hair matches Din Djarin's and is a better representation of Din I feel than the actor that played Cassian but also the head you can take across whack it on some Mando costume and even from the series one costume I know he never reveals his head really until the end of the first season but if you wanted to replicate any scene with Din and his helmet off definitely opt for Cassian as I wouldn't say he's cheaper but you likely already have him in your collection and we are halfway through the video so there are a bonus two minifigures I'm going to show you just for sticking with the first half of this video and the first one of course is this custom Padme I created and all I've done is taken Agatha Harkness's torso dress piece cape you can even use the head off that minifigure though I have used that for a different character and then whacked this high ponytail hair piece onto it to represent Padme from I think it's Attack of the Clones in one of her many costumes that we're yet to see in Lego and I think this is a fine addition to my collection but of course that leaves you with a hair piece that doesn't really represent many characters I mean if you try and find a light blue dress you can definitely use it for Padme's nightgown in Revenge of the Sith but I've actually whacked it on Star Lord's torso and legs to create this custom Peli motto. And this just goes to show how hair pieces can really make the minifigures. And I think this does look pretty cool. Now, onto the sixth custom hair piece. And it's actually a change you can implement fairly easy, dependent on what figures you have in your collection. But of course, Luke has had many iterations of this minifigure, even before this hair piece. We've seen him with the typical female hair, which really didn't represent any of the characters, but we got him for Anakin, for Kenobi, for Luke, for pretty much any character with slightly long hair. And again, Luke originally did have the same hair piece as Kenobi, which is why it's so much more surprising that Kenobi hasn't received a better look. But to improve this hair piece, all you've got to do is make it a little darker to dark tan, and that represents the character so much better. In all of the Lego shorts they put out, it's a dark tan hairpiece they give Luke. I'm pretty sure Skywalker Saga is the same, but they're giving us the light tan version instead. I'm not quite sure why, especially when they give us the dark tan for Empire Strikes Back. Perhaps it's just because he's on Tatooine and they want it to blend more into the surroundings. But Luke's hair doesn't blend in to the sand when you're watching A New Hope. So this is definitely an easy change to make, but one that's very effective for your displays. And another change that they definitely should have made by now is with this Revenge of the Sith Anakin. Now, I know it's been four years since we last saw this minifigure. And with Revenge of the Sith's anniversary next year, there is hope that we will get another hairpiece that isn't Anakin's wig which is actually what Lego have dubbed this hairpiece I mean it was made for Anakin fair enough it's not exclusive to Anakin but they've honored their first use of the hairpiece I believe it was their first use in calling it Anakin's wig but it's not the best wig for Anakin I think this serious black hairpiece that comes in Michael Cromer I think from the Ravenclaw house banner set suits Anakin so much better so if we take off Anakin's hairpiece and replace it with a slightly darker hairpiece. Just look how much better that looks on Anakin. It represents Hayden Christensen from episode 3. And 
I just think it's a really nice hairpiece. Of course, it's got the longer hair, which matches Anakin compared to this Clone Wars style hair. You can definitely get away with this in the Clone Wars. I feel like Clone Wars animated figures, especially with the faces they printed on them, you can get away with pretty much any hairpiece as long as it's the correct colour. Or even in the Chancellor's case, if it's nearly the correct colour. But Anakin would look so much better like this. And there's just so many hairpieces like that that we've had for so long now. They definitely do an update. Now we're moving on to our recoloured portion of the video where all of these hairpieces, I might not own in the correct colour, but they definitely get the idea across and you can understand where it's coming from. So the first minifigure that needs a different hairpiece in a different colour to I'll show you, very, very complicated, that is, is Hunter from The Bad Batch. He uses Kylo Ren's hair, who originally I was going to change for this video. Honestly, I think the Kylo Ren hair actually does work with Kylo. It's not perfect, but for the majority of scenes he's in, it does look like how Kylo looks in the show. So does it work with Hunter? Absolutely not. I do not like this hairpiece for Hunter. It looks nothing like how his hair looks in the show. So instead of using this hairpiece, we are going to take Han Solo's hairpiece. Of course, we will want this piece in black. Hopefully, someday Lego give it to us if they haven't already. But if we whack this hairpiece on Hunter, just imagine this in black. It works so well with the Hunter minifigure. I really would love to see this in black. I'll perhaps have to pick it up if it does exist. I have a quick look on lego.com after this video and perhaps that can go with my May purchase. But I really like how this hair turns out. It just matches how Hunter's hair does sort of wave. It's got the slight parting in the middle and you also see more of the bandana than you do with Kylo's hair. So if we do get another Hunter from a season three set, this is the hairpiece I'd like to see used. And you may remember me mentioning Kenobi's Padawan minifigure, just like old man Kenobi just over here. Kenobi's Padawan minifigure uses the exact same hairpiece. We need to get rid of this hairpiece and burn it in a fire somewhere so it can never return, or at least the mold for it, because it looks nothing like Kenobi does in The Phantom Menace. And I've actually got a custom Anakin from episode 2 using one of my spare burn up episode 3 robes. And the hair pieces for the both of them should be more or less the same. I guess Kenobi's should be this dark orange that we see with the other young Kenobi minifigures. But using this mould instead works so well with Kenobi. You've got to again imagine it recolored in dark orange but even then... I don't think it looks that bad and it would look even better in an official Lego set. So again, hopefully they have already made this piece in a dark orange. I know a few of these do exist, but they're a lot rarer than you think. But this would just make a Kenobi Padawan look really, really cool. And now, last but definitely not least, we're getting to another Phantom Menace figure. We have the little Anakin here. The last time he was included exactly five years ago, actually, for the 20th anniversary in his pod racer. So I doubt we'll be seeing him again this year because of that set. He didn't include a hairpiece. And even if he did, it would have been the old Anakin hairpiece, which is the same as the old Harry Potter one. Even Harry Potter's got a new hairpiece. But we do have this minifigure from the Dreams line. And in fact, this is already in a light tan colour. But it's exclusive to a Lloyd from a very, very expensive Ninjago set. But it is the brand new bowl cut Lego piece. And if we whack it on Anakin, again, use your imagination. Picture this a light tan colour. I think this is the perfect piece for a Lego Anakin minifigure. If we do see Lego Anakin somewhere this year, who knows what sets they've got lined up. I would love for this piece to come in a light tan. Would I be picking up the set just for this piece? Absolutely not. I'll probably be waiting for it to be more common and... Pick it up when it's not exclusive to a Ninjago minifigure. But this is all of the hair pieces for the minifigures. And before I wrap up this video, I'd just like to point out my own issue with Lego hair pieces, which is my profile picture on absolutely everything. My hair is not this colour, and I'm not quite sure what made me gravitate towards this piece. I guess it's the same style of hair, but my hair looks a lot better when it is coloured properly. So as of this video going out, you can check my profile pictures and you will see the new one with the correctly coloured hair. I thought if I'm critiquing Lego's hair choices, I've got to at least fix my own. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Drop a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe for more awesome Lego content. And as always, 
May the bricks be with you.